Mary Laughlin first stole our hearts back in 1988 when she starred as Aunt Becky in the hugely popular family sitcom Full House. Now, Lori is reprising that role in the Netflix reboot Fuller, Fuller House. House. Yes. <laughs> that just got the greenlit card for a third season. Of course it did. But first, you're going to get to see her back on the small screen as Abigail Stanton in the very big hit Hallmark series When Calls the Heart. And Abigail is taking on a new job now. Big one, town mayor. Take a look. Someone giving you trouble out there? Ever since I became mayor. You need me to talk to them? You know, what I need is a break from petty complaints from people who have nothing better to do. You know there's a chance you may have to stay on as mayor. What then? Well, that sounds like you don't think Henry Gowan will be clear to the criminal charges. It's not a stretch. Well, one day at a time, right? Abigail, there's someone out front who wants to see you. Hmm, I hope it's not about chickens. <laughs> you never know what you're going to have to face as mayor. No. You never do. <laughs> a small frontier town. I remember when you, she first came on with this new project. You never know where these things are going to go, no, right? We really, I mean, honestly, it started out for me where they were, it was a two-hour movie that they were hoping to get picked up as a series. And they said to me, Lori, will you come and work one day on it? We think you, we can, you can help us get the pickup. Right. And uh, I went and worked one day, and then we got picked up. And it now we're heading into we're season four's oh, airing. Season four. It's looking good for season five. Well, because and you have a huge fan base. What are they called? The Hardies? The Hardies. And they hashtag themselves the Hardies, the Hardies. on Twitter. Amazing. You know. Yeah, and they're, they're so yes. loyal and so great. And, and they have really kept the show, like, moving forward. And the thing about it is, you, you know what you're going to You don't know what the exact story. But when you turn on a Hallmark channel, you know you're going to be able to watch it with your family. Yes. You know it's not going to. It's gonna... quality television. It's family television. It's geared for everyone. You know, the demographic is very female. But honestly. You don't feel like you need to grab the remote and turn the channel yeah. if a little child runs in the room. It's very, it's really very family friendly. It's a lot like the TV that we grew up on, right? That was uh, on all the networks when we were kids. Honey, I was the Flintstones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you all have known each other for a while, of her. We have known each other for When you were on the edge of night, when yes. you were a soap star. Yes, I was 17, or 16, yes. 17. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's great to have. I know. And I your know. beautiful daughter is here today. She got, is. Your two daughters are just dropped. Thank you. That's my gorgeous. Olivia. She's got a YouTube channel, and she's here for Fashion Week. Of course she is. Hey, yeah, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so fun to see your children become what they're supposed to be. Isn't I know. It? And I your know. other daughter is an actress. Oh, uh, Bella is an actress. We did a oh, Christmas yeah. movie. Yep, you did. We, uh, we did a Christmas movie last, last year together. She, right. did, she did. It was her first job. She did really well. And Olivia's got a YouTube channel, and uh, it's doing great, actually. Well, really I, well. the big question, because we are working moms, is uh, not even mine are out of the house, but believe me, there's always drama. Oh, sure. Um, how do you balance it? Because you're not just doing the Hallmark. You're also doing another series, I'm doing the Garage Sale. Doing Garage Sale, oh, doing garage garage sale Mystery, Murder. which is a series of mystery movies for the Hallmark Movie Channel. And then I'm doing Fuller House, and I'm doing One Calls the Heart. I have to say this. When my kids were little, I always made it a point to be home more. I chose my jobs to be in L.A. Well, now the work has really left L.A. Yeah. And I love working for Hallmark, and we shoot a lot in Vancouver. Which is just a couple hours away, right? But yeah, it's two and a half hours. It's not a big deal. But what I think has been great for my girls as teenagers is, first of all, to see your mom work and doing something that she loves, I yes. think, is inspiring to them. Yes. And then secondly, like, my husband is home. He has a job. He's in Los Angeles. So their dad is with them 24-7 yes. when I'm working. But it has forced them to grow up, but in a good way. Like, they go to the market themselves. They've learned how to cook now. They are taking care of themselves, which it's is... All great stuff. They need to do that anyway. So I think, actually, it's been a really nice blessing. blessing. You want to ask her anything? <laughs> I just love that you're you're being a good example, and especially for I'm young trying, women. I'm trying, Jennifer. You know? I mean, <laughs> to see a mom out there doing her thing. And I think yeah. our kids know that we really we, we make mistakes, but uh, they, we give it our best. Don't I actually, we? I want to ask her them. where she got love that skirt. That's okay. what I, I know. Ask. All Isn't right, we're in commercial break. She's going to tell you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you, Lori. Great to see thank you, honey. You, the thank season you. four premiere. I like saying that. Yes. When calls the heart airs this Sunday on the Hallmark Channel. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.